The drought has really done a number on Central Texas trees. Hundreds have died from the stress. In Canyon Lake, one man is picking up the pieces, literally, and creating something beautiful. Our Natalie Stoll has his story. Scattered tree trunks sit outside Nature Reborn. Walk inside with the owner, Sam Fay, and you'll find art and even furniture in the works. We are working on a computer desk. Uh, they're taking the bark off the cross support underneath. Uh, this is a roughly 300-year-old oak. It will be absolutely spectacular. That desk will eventually look like this. The wood comes from dead trees. The drought killed them, and a tree removal company out of Seguin drops them off here for free. To give you an idea of the size of trees Sam's working with, just take a look at these stumps. They would have ended up in a landfill, too big to be even used as firewood. It's a shame. It really is to see a, a 300 year old old man tree uh, just be discarded. And, and it's not until you really get into it and, and see how beautiful that it can be that you recognize the kind of waste that, that goes on. Sam got the idea five years ago and began with just a chainsaw. But it was after his brother-in-law died from cancer and left five children behind that he picked up the pace. It was that facing that crisis just really pushed me to really do all of this and, and just pour my heart and soul into it. And the family's on board. And everybody's pretty amazed with their Uncle Sammy. The next step is building a computer-controlled machine like this, but much bigger. New router will be able to actually cut these curves. And what I would be able to do is actually come in with a forklift and set a, a huge slab right down into the machine, and then the machine would take it from there. And it's really taking a, a life of its own, and it's it's exciting. It's great. In Canyon Lake, Natalie Stoll, KXAN News. And several stores carry Sam's work, including Bucky's. He's also trying to fund the new router on the website Kickstarter. And you can find out more about this project from a link on our website. Look for this story under the Hill Country tab.